Damn. Losing somebody, I know you say you never lost somebody that close, man. And we live in a, in a, in a world right now as rappers. I hear people saying right now, like, y'all have the most dangerous profession. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, losing somebody that close, man, like, how do you how do you elevate? Like, how do y'all make sure that y'all can make it to get to the millions that you can take care of your partners that, that's here with you? Like... Like, you saying, like, how do you stay safe type of shit? Yeah, like, how you do things differently now? Because, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that he got killed or anything happened over some rap shit, but just being a rapper right now, y'all really under attack. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah just smart. But, you know, I I really, I too much, like, I used to tell Wody, because, you know, Wody been shot before. Yeah. He, I shot in the head and shit before. I used to tell Wody, like, damn, bitch, you don't care, like, you don't give a fuck, like. Like, for sure, like, us three sitting on this couch, like, we ain't the club people, like, go to clubs and just, whoop, whoop. Like, Wardy, he a club nigga, like, he, he like to pop it. See gotcha. what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people in our game like to pop it, but it's just like a few of us that don't just too much like clubs and shit like that. And I used to tell him, like, he used to always want me to come out to the club with him. Come out, bitch, come out, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, hell nah, bitch, I ain't trying to, you know, I be paranoid. Or even if I go to the club, I, I'm just looking the whole time too much. I ain't too much turning up. But he still be wanting me there. But the like the night before like the night before he died, we was at um the gym in Dow where we was hooping and shit. And then um Wardy had kept asking me, he was like, bitch, we had kissed tonight, come to the club, come to the club. But me, I'm the type of nigga, I tell you I'm coming and I know I'm not coming. And he know I'm not coming, type shit. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> just see what I'm saying? Like, like Wardy would be like, bitch, I know you ain't coming, but he wasn't on that this time. He was like, Oh my, oh my mama, you a hoe, Kenny. You you out of there, bro. You out of there. He hung up in my face. At first, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't even took it like nothing, but this time I was just on some shit like, I'ma go and pop out for my nigga, like, fuck it, I'ma just go. And then we went to the club and shit, it just like, that was my last night with bro, like, see what I'm saying? Like, it was just like a, a sign, someone was telling me to go. Then you know out here, where I stay at, this shit like an hour and 10 minutes from me, period, yeah. like wherever. So for me to come, it, it had to be a sign type shit, like, I'ma just go, fuck it. And then you know the smoke and shit I got in Dallas, so it's just like, I ain't give a fuck about none of that. It was just like, Wody kept asking, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go. Do you, do you feel like a rapper, right, being an artist right now, is hot everywhere, though? Because, like, you see what happened, spot him, got him, leaving the studio. Um, not Miami. necessarily, not necessarily. It's about how you move and how, what you talk about. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, me, before rap or or, or like... Before rap or anything, like I always moved how I moved because it's just like I always had hood beefs and, and different beefs and shit. Like, like far as Dallas and shit, I always could move straight in Dallas because I ain't had no smoke in Dallas. Yeah. But now it's just like I got to be on my P's and Q's because there's so much shit going on and so many people want to do it to me that I don't even know type shit. See what I'm saying? Like, gotcha. I don't even know them. So it just be like weird. 